What if you wanted to create a sliding portfolio like this? You know, mock-ups, you could have websites. By the way, these are all the same images because I'm just showing you an example. But what if you want to have this just sliding like that? Do you like the overlap effect? Maybe not, but hey, let me show you how you do it. The first thing you need to do is go into Canva because obviously you're going to need images. So I've got typed in frame here in elements. And then when you scroll down, you'll have pictures of Mac, tablets. You've got phones as well. Well, I've got the phone there. I don't know why I dragged that again. But if I just uh, get rid of the image that I've got over here, if you use Go Full Page, which is a Chrome extension, okay, and I'll put a link in it over here. Once you've, um, you can take a full page screenshot of your website, a bit like what I've done over here. So you see that full page, I can then just drag it on there and I can then hit crop and I can actually adjust it to how I want. And basically what I've done is I've dragged in a mobile frame, put it in the middle of the canvas. When I've made a duplicate and I've moved it down, but I've duplicated and moved it up. So what I have is three different layouts. I've got the phone in the middle, I've got the phone down here, and I've got the phone higher up as well. Can you see that some of the phones, like, or even the tablets, they're slightly distorted, not distorted, but the layout, they're not all centered in one line. Because if they were all centered, it would just look like a normal media carousel. But by adding in a bit of variation, like look at this tablet here. This tablet is down below. So if we go back over here, I got a tablet in the middle, a tablet at the bottom of the page, a tablet more towards the top. And I did the same with laptop as well. All you do is do that. I think I had about eight or nine images. Then you uh, save them as a PNG, or whatever. Go to bulkresizephotos.com, my recommendation, convert them into WebP, and then just add them into your media library. And look, you can see over here, can you see the laptop, the different orientations, the same with the tablets and the same with the phone. That's quick and easy. That should not take you long. I've done it with the same website image. Um, so it's not that I'm not inventive. It's just, I was just wanted to quickly get across what we're doing. So how was this built? We have one section, one column, and two testimonial carousels. I am just gonna unhide one of the testimonial carousels, okay? All we did, was put a testimonial carousel on there, okay? And then inside of there, each testimonial carousel, let me just show you what a brand new one looks like if I add it in, okay? When you add in a brand new one, a carousel, you have no content, you can pick your image and you'll have the words John Doe and CEO. Get rid of all of that, okay? Get rid of all of that. And then all you do is add in your image. So you would have clicked it and you would have picked your image, obviously, okay? So far, so good. There's no need for any name. There's no need for any uh, title. There's no need for any content, no short code. Okay. Nothing going on here. It is pretty simple. And then all you do is you just add as many as you want. I only added in five. I could have added in 10, 20, whatever you want. Okay. How many images, mock-ups you've got. We did a video on website mock-up generators as well. Go and look at that. Really cool web uh, tools for free that you can use. So that's all we did. Now, here's the key thing. At the moment, this is showing three slides per view. If I change this to two, it goes to two. If it goes to four, it goes to four. Okay, I've just done it as three. You will decide on what you want to go for. And if any of you are wondering about the actual uh, section, it is a full width with no gap. Okay, I did it with full width, no gap. You don't have to do that. Anyway, so it is set as a default skin, image in line, it is center aligned, and it is slides per view is three. Now slides to scroll, I've left as default. Leave that as default, and I've left the width as 100% as well, okay? So there are the settings that you can see clear as mud or day or whatever you're rolling in. Now for the additional options, this bit is a little bit key. Um, in fact, I have got arrows on here. There's no need for arrows. I don't know why I've got that. There's no need for arrows, okay? There's no need for pagination. The transition duration is 3000. That is three seconds. Now you can adapt this because we are going to add on a duplicate and we're going to modify it. But the very first one uh, that I've added on here has 3000 transition duration. Okay. The autoplay speed is set to zero. Now at this point you're going, well, how's it going to move? We will add in a tiny bit of CSS code. Okay. A tiny bit set this to be zero. Infinite loop, we are not going to pause on hover or interactive. And I'll tell you why, if you do that, you will get a slightly jarring effect, okay? So if you want them to click to go somewhere, mm, yeah, okay, you could do that. However, if you go back to the slides, 
it's you're going to have to start working with template short codes and stuff. So this is really just a moving carousel for you. OK, back to down here. So these are the settings. Image size is set to full. There's no lazy load going on. It's pretty simple and it works. Now, here's the CSS code you've got to add. Go to advanced, go down to custom CSS. And here is the code. This code, OK, came from Zoe Tame. All right. I've used it numerous times in other videos and she is amazing. Um, Zoe Tame, Elemental Facebook group. Go find her. I mean, don't go find her, but she's great. Um, select a swiper wrapper transition timing function, blah, blah, blah. OK, there's the code. The only extra thing I've done is I did set the opacity to be 0.9. Now, you don't have to do this. You could go for one. I just dropped the opacity a tiny bit just so you get a slight transparent effect. It is subtle. There is a little bit there, but it just adds to the effect. OK, you don't have to have this line. in if you don't want this code is in the description of the video, you can't miss it. OK, so once you've done that, that will now move. I have set the width of this to be full width 100%. Normally, it will be set to default, which technically on your layout for your carousel is 100%. I just went and did it anyway, just to be sure. Full width 100%. Then we added in a duplicate. Now, the duplicate sits behind, OK? And if it wasn't behind, you would just rearrange it in the order, right, you know, over here. So here we have a copy. That copy is an exact same copy of what I've done before. So it's got all the settings built in. The only thing you would do is obviously go in over here. So I'm actually going to get rid of this image, right? And I am going to pick, let's go for this image here, right? Ridiculous, right? I've gone and added in my face. Why did I do that? That was really, really stupid of me, right? Anyway, I've just gone and added in my image, not the best image, obviously, because of the layouts and everything like, look, let me just do this here. You will get the circle now, but, you know, a bit stupid. But hey, just go with it for now. OK, so I have now changed one of my images to be that I shouldn't have done that, but we're just going to let it go. Now, when we scroll down, you'll notice there is a little bit of a change. By the way, this also has if you go down here, it has got the code in. It's missing the transparency a tiny bit because this now sits at the back and I don't want it to have any transparency. OK, so we've got our image in, but it still has the Zoe Tame code. But the key bit is if you go to layout, it is again full width 100 percent. But we now have the position set to absolute. Let me go back to the first one that only had full width. The position was default. The second one has absolute because if I do this right, it is now going to sit below. Does that make sense? If I now set this to be absolute, it is now absolute. So it kind of now is in line with the one that is kind of in the same column structure or whatever. OK, and that's how I'm getting the overlap effect. Does that make sense? I hope so. Please watch the video again millions of times if it doesn't. Look at the settings that we have here. OK, nothing has changed except here. Slides per view is now set to four because if I have three and three, it looks a little bit the same. By going three and four, I'm now saying that what is in the foreground, you only have three at any one time. What's in the background, you have four. So it feels like you're creating like a displacement, like a bit of distance. And you go to additional options. Here's where I've changed the speed as well. So now we're going from 3000 or three seconds to 3.5 seconds so three and a half thousand. OK, again, I don't need the arrows. Don't know why I've got that there. Get rid of the arrows. Right. Um, autoplay again, zero for autoplay speed and everything is the same. So the only things that have changed is I've made the second one absolute. I've uh, made the transition duration be a bit slower at three and a half seconds. And I've made the slide before. OK, so let's update that and let's preview again. I mean, basically, there you go. I mean, it's I mean, can you see the transition effect going on there? I mean, I think that image there is slightly um, probably wasn't the best image to stick in. Right. But look, you now have a moving testimonial and it was so simple and easy to do. And if we just go back over here, um, I've added in 999 actually Z index to the first testimonial carousel because I noticed for some reason the phone was going behind my face. But if you look at this here, the settings are pretty simple. Testimonial carousel, you add in your images, you've got your settings down here. Again, watch the video if you're unsure. But the key bit is this bit here. 
which basically, it basically makes your carousel into a marquee, right? It's automatically sliding through. And this code you could use for anything, even if you weren't using images and you were just doing testimonials, right? But this just works super, super, super well. And I, I love it. I think this is really, really cool. Um, it's a nice little feature. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.